Okay, this sermon is entitled, Jamie Russell, Unsaved and Exposed. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 24 reads, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? Now, I wasn't really that familiar with this Jamie Russell guy, but I've seen him from time to time on different streams. And somebody requested that I expose him and sent me this video. And it's a once saved, always saved debate. He is a proponent for salvific loss, which means he does not believe in once saved, always saved, which ultimately means he's not saved. And see, there wouldn't even be this debate if everyone was actually saved amongst the debaters. The only reason we have this is because some people are not saved. Those who oppose eternal security are not saved. Those who are pro-eternal security are saved. So let's take a listen to what he has to say, and then I'm going to break it down and expose him. Here goes. I didn't include it because I wanted to just kind of run through these because I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time. The point is, you are saved by faith. That's how the thief on the cross goes to heaven. That's how deathbed confessions work. But if you have the faith, you will continue therein. And you will keep God's commandments. For he who says he knows him. Now, where on earth, in Luke chapter 23, or the other accounts of the thief on the cross, does it say that the thief obeyed the commandments? It's not in there. And the only reason people think you have to continue on abiding and obey the commandments is because they don't have salvation. They're doing something to try to earn it. Those who have salvation are not because there's nothing left to do. Jesus Christ did all the work at the cross when he died for our sins. And that's why we are secure in Christ. So according to Jamie Russell, you have to keep the commandments. And what's so ironic about this is he doesn't keep the commandments. So let's keep listening. Here goes. The point is, you are saved. This is how we know that we know him. If you want assurance, this is how you get it. You abide in Christ. Well, my assurance comes from the fact that Jesus died on the cross for my sins once again. He paid it all. And I guess you can look to yourself for assurance if you want to be deluded. But what if a person's having an off day and they're not abiding in Christ? And who knows what that even means? I guess it means to continue in the faith. But the point of the matter is, is that this is not looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. This is looking to self. This is all about you and what you do. And the reason why people like this Jamie Russell place their assurance in this mess is because they don't have salvation. And that's why they reject eternal security. Because they're not eternally secure. They don't have eternal life. So that's why they think that you get temporary life instead. So watch out for this false prophet. He's unsaved and going to hell. And that's the only reason he's fighting against what the Bible teaches on this subject, and that is that the one who believes on Jesus Christ has everlasting life that can never be lost. That's what saved people believe. The unsaved believe you can lose your salvation because they don't have real salvation. They have a type of salvation that can be lost, and it's about as worthless as a cardboard box. So watch out for Jamie Russell. He's an unsaved devil with a false salvation. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.